Welcome back. This time I'm actually going to do something productive. I'm going to go back to Duxon because Tobin has told me that I can. Things on Onderon are progressing. So let's go. Back to Duxon. Well, it's been a little while since we were last here. T3 isn't in there anymore. Let's go and meet with Tobin. Toby. Who should I take with me? I've got quite a choice now. I could take HK. I suppose. The problem with HK is... He needs repair packs to heal. You can't you can't use heal on him. Let's take Visus and HK though. I guess let's talk to the guide. Ready to head back to camp. Give the word and I'll take you there. Yes. My message then. Colonel Tobin contacted us. He arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know if his offer still stands. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and pronounced the Queen guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military support is evenly divided. Isis has fallen into civil war. Oh ho, exciting things going on. The war is part of their plans? Then perhaps his invitation is still valid. There is a great deal of chaos on the streets of Isis, but I can try to contact Colonel Tobin. We can talk to him via satellite on Isis. I'll contact him now. It is good to see you. We try to delay the war as long as possible, to give you enough time to receive our message and get here. But the Sith could only be delayed for so long. Still, your arrival is timely. The war goes well, but victory is not yet certain. Much of the city is under our control, but we still need to wrest the Merchant Quarter from Queen Talia's forces. We need you to spearhead the assault on the Merchant Quarter, and the attack on the Royal Palace. But we also need you to tend to the Sith Lord's forces. Well that sounds very fun, Toby. The Sith Lord has been using an ancient tomb on Duxon as their base in the system. That tomb isn't too far from your encampment. You need to assemble a group that can eliminate the Sith at the tomb. We'll coordinate with Kelborn when you're ready to strike. After Ooh. they're attacked there, the Sith will turn on us. So we'll need you here with us. You'll have to divide your forces. Oh, we need okay. Your skills on the planet. You should select someone you trust to lead the group to attack the Sith camp. Ah, interesting. Um. I'm no historian, but I think it's the tomb of an ancient leader. In any event, it doesn't matter. Eliminating the Sith there and stopping whatever they are doing is all that's important. The battle rages nearby. Find some sort of transport to the Merchant Quarter. General Vaklu will meet you personally when you arrive. The Colonel has transmitted the tomb's coordinates, and I've got a strike force of Mandalorians ready to go. We will send the strike force with you to clear a path through the jungle. Who will lead that expedition? Um, oh, I only have three choices. Disciple, Visus, or Aten. I will serve as you wish. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Okay. Um... Uh, 
need to take into account who I want with me as well. Hanha? As you say. And who else? I kind of want Mandalore with me. Um, maybe... Maybe... HK, maybe? Not the most subtle choice. Now oh. are you certain of your choices? Um, not anymore, I'm not. I wonder, does that mean that there are correct choices to this, then? Um... No. All right, let's try this again. Visas. Um... I've already got Visas with her Force powers. Kraya isn't on the list. Excellent choice. Oh, ho ho. Seems like there are right choices. So, Mandalore. Um, Aten, maybe? Disciple? I don't really want to use a droid. HK is out. Goto is probably not much better. Maybe Beodur. Yes, good choice. Okay. Now are you certain of your choices? Yes, I am now. Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. I think I'm ready. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. We've already received our signal from Colonel Tobin. You're to attack the Sith camp immediately. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. Sounds like he's voiced by the same guy who voices Goto. Yeah? He also sounded a bit like Kessler from Infamous. Might be the same guy, I'm not sure. Let's equip Beodur. Because we haven't used him since... Telos, I suppose. Um, Sith Battle Suit is probably a good idea. Let's give him that. Um, give him some shields. Probably a melee shield. What can we put on his head? This hunting mask. Attack modifier, awareness, stealth, and dexterity. That probably seems like a good idea. Breath mask, meh. I might give him that. Yeah. Some gloves. Fitness package is pretty good. Constitution plus one. Oh, that's constitution plus one as well, with regen. Because Beodur, he doesn't really have much health, does he? He used to die quite a lot. Um, I can't remember whether he wants to have blasters or melee weapons. I kind of want to give him blasters, don't I? If he doesn't have much health. Let's just uh, level him up and see what he has. He doesn't have two weapon fighting or dueling. Huh. So I can choose. Probably want two weapons, I guess. Yeah. Looks like he... Hmm. Change my mind. Dueling. Hmm. 
Dexterity, yes. More skills. He gets tons of skills. Because he's a tech specialist. It looks like he's got all melee feats. He doesn't actually have any of these blaster skills. That's interesting. I might have to change that. I do rather want him to be using blasters, but we'll see, I guess. If I give him both, then I can switch weapons. And see what's best. I could give him Master Toughness, but... Let's give him a Blaster Feat. Power Blast. Probably. Rapid Shots. Pretty good too. Let's give him Power Blast. And he's done. Okay, let's finish equipping him. We want to give him a single-handed weapon. Sith Tremor Sword is pretty good, although that's good as well. Let's give him the Achani Vibra Sword. And then a pistol that we can switch to, so he's got both. Bowcaster's good, but I think that's two-handed, isn't it? I can't see. It's probably two-handed. That's very good. <laughs> Ooh, heavy blaster. Is that... It is a blaster pistol, right? Yeah, it is. So he can have that. My life is yours. Let's have him with melee weapons for now. Everyone else is fine. Mandalore should be completely fine with what he has. <laughs> Choke actually worked. We're fighting Bomers again. Oh yeah, Bayodur has his little remote with him. I forgot about that. So we need to go to a tomb. Which sounds pretty good. The tombs in the first game were good on Korriban. So hopefully it's going to be like that. And hopefully it's going to be full of tons of enemies. Just need to uh, pick up these mines. Thankfully, Beodur can actually do Order this. Pass the mines. Pass the mines. A type two perimeter motion relay. That particular model has several security vulnerabilities and design flaws. Stealth field generators can fool them. If one of us could get close to it, I know the corporate override code for it. Amateurs shouldn't even bother building security technology. So you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle? Good. But all of you must pass through its perimeter, and undetected would be better. He does sound like Kessler, a bit. It might be the same voice actor. Well, I guess I, as Visus, will go and use the code. Avoid the mines. If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated, then we shouldn't even bother. Well, let's just pick up these mines first. I guess I can't get too close. The honor is mine. Let's go now. Turn solo mode on, and then stealth. Oh, this is very close. Can I get through this gap? Ooh. Oh wow, yeah I can, just. That's a bit scary. Ooh. 
Right, we're good. Uh, use Beodur's code. Excellent. Let's turn off stealth. Turn off solo mode. No, let's not turn off solo mode, because otherwise they're going to run through these. Let's yeah. switch to Beodur with solo mode still on, so Visus won't come running at us through all the mines. And we're done, finally. We're out into the open. What is this thing? Turret power generator. Okay, turn off generator. Oh. Ah, that was easy. Looks like, oh, that must be the tomb. Tons of enemies over there, it looks like. Let's kill this first. Visus has Force Wave, that's pretty cool. Haven't used Force Wave in a long time. Heal really uses up a lot of Force Points when you're a Dark Side character. Plus many opponents, that's what we want to use. Uh, there's a disabled turret. Intruders, kill them! Wow, it's uh, Sith troops. Haven't seen these since the first game. That's pretty cool. I kind of just assumed that these Sith were all gone. When they said Sith, I assumed it was going to be, like, Dark Jedi. Presumably there will be Dark Jedi as well, but... Sith troops as well. I can't get this metal box. Jal Shea Belt. What's this? Wisdom Force Resist plus 14. Crikey. I, I think I'm going to have that. My character. Let's switch to Beodur for this. Because he has computer use. Uh, run area schematic. Run foothold scenario for spikes. Active turrets will eliminate all organics and intruders. Oh. Oh, but I... I turned the turrets off, didn't I? So is that not going to do anything? An advanced grip? Hmm. Uh, doesn't look like anything's going on over there. Can I turn this back on? Oh, I just got XP from something. Generator's been turned off. Maybe the turrets are working over there. Ah, doesn't really look like it. Weird. Where, where was that XP from? My life is yours. Righty ho. Force lightning. She doesn't have force storm yet. Soon. Soon she shall have force storm. Uh let's use death field, because I'm taking a bit of damage here. Nearly up to full again. That guy died. Just kill this Boma. Okay. That was straightforward. Good. Computer spike. These turrets are disabled as well. Hmm. I guess if you don't disable them at the first thing, you can run over to those other people take down those first turrets or that first one turret and then just get these turrets to shoot the enemies here turn off generator 
Well, that's disabled some droids. That's good. Anyway, those enemies weren't difficult to kill. Ooh, we've got guys here already. Just when I've used up my force points. Let's go up here and use force lightning so I get more of them. Oh. Well, got two. And we all leveled up. That's pretty good. I'm getting decently low on health, but I can just level up and restore my health to full. Looks like we are taking... Wow, did he spawn right there? I think he just spawned out of nowhere. Ooh, I am taking a lot of damage. We are killing things quickly as well, though. To battle. That looks like everyone. Um, recommended. Don't really want computer use. Let's go for treat injury. And awareness. And... Stealth. Force powers. St stun droid. Why? I don't want stun droid. Let's go force storm. Stun droid's just pretty useless when you have force storm. Because force storm is so good against droids anyway. Constitution. Does Mandalore really need constitution? I mean, he's a bit of a beast. He does have a 17 in strength and a 16 constitution. I, I... I guess I'll give him constitution? Why not? Even more of a tank. What does he want? He's got... He's got everything really, hasn't he? I don't want rapid shot because he's not going to be using blasters. Don't put Mandalore with blasters. Just, just don't do it. He's so good with melee weapons. There we go. And Bayodur. Dexterity... I kind of wanted to give him constitution, but I'm not going to. Uh... I, I guess I'll give him rapid shot. Alright, 